So just another quick and handheld video about uh, Virtual DJ and General MIDI and VST effects. And more specifically in this case, when the VST, VST effect is something more complicated, like a, uh, at a, a virtual instrument. So like you probably know, you can uh, combine uh, just about any MIDI device with Visual DJ and Mabin and it'll work. Most MIDI devices like controllers and stuff are of course already mapped, but if you get something general like this stuff, you'll have to do it yourself. So I did that a long time ago and did a video about it, which I'll link in the video description. So basically right now we have Virtual DJ up here and my uh, MIDI keyboard down here is set to basically do stuff on the current uh, currently uh, loaded track on the current deck. So I can press play to play the track. I can stop it again, play it again. Maybe do some color effects like echo. Like this. And turn them down. And I can turn on the currently selected effect. So in this case, echo. So I'll turn it up on here. I'm just gonna stop the track so you can actually hear it do it. Like this. Turn it off again, like this. So all this kind of stuff I can do down here. And of course I also have mapped some, uh, some samples down here. Um, but m maybe more interestingly, I can also do key play because why not do key playing when you actually have a, a, a physical keyboard in front of you. So uh, by default it does hot cue plus uh, key play. So it starts the track at the current hot cue and then it, uh, it changes the key. So the center C is currently uh, current key, so zero change. And then it changes uh, accordingly when you play uh, keys. So I'm just so this will just play the track in the general key, and then I can do go up one, or just a semitone like this. Or I can play with it like this. I can also choose to not do the hot cue part, so I just disable that here, and I can just do key play. Like that. And then that's all good and fine, including being able to turn the effect on and off here. But what if the effect is complicated? Like what if it's an actual instrument? So I can select one that says an actual instrument up here. So that's gonna be the bottom one, which is called Vital, which is a free uh, um, <clears throat> virtual synth. And then when I kick the plus button, you can see it's an actual instrument, which I can play down in the notes down here. Just have to turn it on first on the deck, so like this. And I've kind of course changed a million things on it, like the attack, that's pretty easy to hear, like this. Let me just turn that back down so we can better use it. So that's like a million settings right here, right? And of course you could start mapping some of these. Um, individually by changing the effect uh, settings. So slider one, slider two, button one, button two, all this kind of stuff. But that's gonna be a lot of work and I don't even think you can get to all of it. So there's another way of doing that if you actually want to play a, a, a whole virtual instrument through virtual DJ. And yes there is, because what you can actually do, just put that down here, is you can go into your mapping. And uh, this is my General mapping, that's all the stuff I've mapped to be able to do what you just heard. Um, and then I can right click it and I can tell it to go into MIDI to VST and send it to directly to deck one. So now it also sets the MIDI keys directly to any VST effect that's turned on on deck one. So if I unload the track, turn on the MIDI instrument again here, you can see now I can actually just play the synth down here. And that's without any standalone software, it's just actual MIDI effect that, uh, sorry, the VST effects, which is a virtual instrument that I've opened inside virtual DJ. So this is what I'm playing that you can see down at the bottom. So like this. So that's a way to get your MIDI through virtual DJ and into your actual VST effect, which in this case is a virtual instrument. So that's pretty cool. Now, of course, there's a problem with this now because if I then load the track again, it's fine to play it. That still works nicely down on my MIDI keyboard. But if I try to play a key after turning on my vital effect here, if I try to play a key, it'll still do the other stuff, right? So if I play the track again. Hey, 
if it, and if it set it to do the hot cues too, you can hear it. So it, do, it does indeed do uh, the, the VST effect, the, 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 the virtual instrument, but it also does all the virtual DJ stuff, which you probably don't want to do like that. So you could, uh, of course, get around that uh, by, by simply removing all your mapping, for instance, uh, down here. So this is all my mapping. I could remove that. But instead, I've chosen to do a new mapping that I've called No Keys. So it's the same mapping, except I've removed all the key stuff. So now when that is selected, I'll just put this out of the way. Um, then I can still do the denote stuff up here. I can even do this color effect up here, right? So I can do all that stuff, but I can play only the keys when I play down here. So like this. So I'm basically using the same MIDI keyboard to do some stuff up here with Virtual DJ and doing, putting it straight through to my uh, to my uh, VST effects uh, that's turned on on the deck, um, and then I'm actually uh, playing the, the the virtual instrument on the actual keys on the keyboard. So that's a pretty nifty little feature that you can choose if you like to play some uh, some virtual instruments on top of your DJing.